Yo guys, what's going on today? Uh, sorry I've been a little behind on schedule. A couple of things popped up with the family and I just wasn't able to get any content out and I didn't want to just make content to make content. Today, I do have some updates. I want to get these pieces mounted back to the frame. Uh, cleaned up, welded back to the frame, and I did end up picking up a Mustang 2 steering rack. So we're going to get these tabs for the steering rack folded down, tacked into place. I am going to pull motor and tranny back out, finish welding the motor mount. Let's get to work. What you make it, that shit been amazing I can't see a way out I've been stacking face down off canvases I painted I just spent the rain day on shit I can't afford But that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making I've been going places, I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it This life is so abrasive, that's why I almost gave it All this shit I'm laying in, it's only the foundation I've been going crazy, just trying to find a way I was in a basement, trying to turn the page I was going through the face Okay, so it turns out I don't have the right length bolts. These are actually the motor mount bolts for, well, the motor mounts, which I do have to get. But this is how the rack, the rack mounts just like that. I'm going to need to get some notches. I wasn't sure until I fit this mount. Actually, I think I might have a chunk of uh, round tube that I can cut in half and just notch out of here. That way the bellows don't rub. So it looks like there's going to be a sharp angle for the steering column. But so I'm probably going to have to do a three joint setup out of here. And I think I'm going to go underneath, underneath here. But we'll see how well that works. Yeah, this is Mustang 2 manual rack, uh, Pinto, whatever. They're all the same, apparently. I picked this up locally. It was the right price and it's gonna help me continue with the build. So now I'm gonna get these upper mounts installed back into place. Then once those are in, I'm gonna put the motor and tranny and everything back in because it's already crazy hot out here. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It's 27 degrees Celsius, which is hot, but the humidity in the air is, I think it's about 85, 85, 90% humidity. So I don't know how you guys in the south deal with this stuff working outside but i'm not used to it so i'm gonna get as much as i can in probably the next hour done that is the mustang 2 rack installed we're gonna go back to work on these upper controller mounts I'm a 
take the Lambo and go drive it like it's stolen I've been living wild, I'm just going through the motions Stumbling out the Uber, grab my hand, gave me a no shit Swimming in your water, but it feels just like the ocean I can't lie, I really been addicted to you All of my attention I've been giving to you Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you On my mind, I can't lie For two years straight to the face Champagne belly bubble still won't go away Last year my best man hit a stain with bare face Now he's got a L beyond the water's cold case I wake up with pain some time and never go away Wonder why I balance to my knees when I pray In my city gritty, gotta keep it on your waist Or you might be a victim, they'll find you DOA I can't lie, I really been addicted to you All of my attention I've been giving to you Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you On my mind, I can't lie On my mind, I can't lie Pull you down to your drive Pull you down to your drive All the time, he's my mind All the time, he's my mind I know that you're dangerous, I'm addicted to you Driver remote tacked in, passenger remote tacked in. Um, they're all nice and squared up. The bonus is from the outer edge of the bolt holes to the outer edge of the bolt hole, 34 and a half inches on the front and the rear, which is good because the guys that built this cross member said I should have 33 and a quarter inches between the upper control arm uh, center bolt, basically eye to eye. So that means I have about an inch of positive amber adjustability, which I think I should be okay. Um, that's a lot of adjustment on such a small, suspension arm setup these will get final welded in eventually i'm not gonna do it right now um i don't actually have i don't think i have enough wire to even start so i need to get some more wire this week um I'll finish welding these in i'm gonna close up these holes make everything look nice finish welding that i'll get the right length bolts for the steering rack this front end starting to come together I'm gonna put the motor back in. The way I'm looking at this, the steering rack actually sits a little bit high and I'm hoping I don't have to clearance this oil pan. So we will see. I don't remember where I had this sitting. Hey guys, good news, bad news. Good news is the motor goes back in its home almost no problems whatsoever. Bad news is steering rack right now has clearance as you can see however if i was to bolt it tight because of the angle and whatnot that these rack mounts are on it i can't i can't rotate it backwards because of well the oil pan <laughs> ah, clearance issues clearance issues clearance issues based on what i'm looking at it's a steering rack, so obviously the inner tie rods move like they're supposed to and whatnot. Instead of this this shaft laying all the way backwards into this hole, almost looks like if I mounted at this angle instead of the angle that these brackets are supposed to be on, I could get away with doing this. I could like come up here and then go in that way. So if you guys, you guys think that would work, sweet. That would help a lot. Or if you guys think that the power 
Mustang 2 rack spacers would work let me know because then like I don't know if it I would actually push it up more into the bottom of the timing cover oil pan spot or if it would actually bring it forward enough where I could lay it backward I don't know this is the first Mustang 2 setup I've ever touched ever used and it's going in something that doesn't belong at all with a motor that doesn't belong at all so clearance issues i knew i was going to run into stuff like this that's the end of this week's video um we will be back next week for 100 for sure but you have lots of work to do we will see you next week